So I'm here today with Greg Cross and his drone, and we're going to shoot the whole area. We're going to take video of our land, the 30 acres of land that we have all the way out here, around to the water space that'll be the sanctuary, and be able to have pictures of it from high altitude and low. So we're able to plan where the buildings will go, where the nets will be, and this will be all part of the engineering and site development plan that we'll be doing over the next few weeks. So that's what we're going to do today, and Greg's going to lift this right off the ground. So this view that we have now, just as we're beginning the drone imagery, is really of the whole sanctuary. This is one of the best views you'll see. And what we see on the land side, right in front of us, is the area where we'll have our infrastructure, where we'll put our buildings, the support for all of the work that the sanctuary will do. And we're now traveling toward the north. We're moving northward along the shoreline. And this would be where we'll have a walking path for the staff to be able to cover all of the sanctuary lands, all 30 acres of the land that we own. These are the lands that we have under option for purchase. And at this point, just to the north of Bereshwa Pond, we'll be erecting a staff tower so that the staff can get the view of the whales throughout the whole sanctuary, which you can't get if you're standing at shore level. So this is where we'll be putting the tower. And we're still moving toward the north along the western shoreline. And we're soon coming up to the point it is known as Rocky Point. You can see it here, the sandy area just to our left. And that's what the net will be attached to on the northern section of the sanctuary waters. So that'll be encompassing the whole 100 acres, 40 hectares of water space. And now still flying at this low altitude, we'll begin to move out into the sanctuary, into the waters itself. And then we'll take a look at it from a little higher altitude. So here you see us moving out into the sanctuary. This is an expansive area. From here, if you're standing on the shoreline and the whales are out at the edge of the net, we might not even be able to see them except from that higher altitude. So now we'll take a look at it from three or 400 feet of altitude, looking back at the sanctuary in this way. So the net would be to our left, attached to the eastern end of Bereshwa Island as we begin to head back toward a landing back at Bereshwa Wharf. So here you're seeing really the whole sanctuary, the full 100 acres of water space. And we're beginning to move back toward the wharf, which will attach from the eastern end of the wharf back to Bereshwa Island on this side so that we're able to enclose the whole area with the net. Now the water space you see in front of us on the other side of the wharf, that's way too shallow. We won't be using any of that water for the sanctuary itself. The net will come from the end we're seeing now, this eastern end of the wharf, back over to Bereshwa as we come in for a landing. 